This is another spin on that lean resistant pole design. Here you have three sprocket instead of two. Or even more lean resistant and more space to hold on to. So it looks like the two sprocket is acceptable, so they're using three. Rocket is in that car. This one. Hurt.
I wouldn't survive here just to be cooked with human in the background. And those trains are right below this building. You see? That's definitely gonna be an intricate arm of that Grand Central. You see that testing that's going on with different seating arrangement and different safety equipment like those that pole that we see every day in every subway but in that one you see the normal one with just one spoke and then you see one with three spokes. But if you check videos that I've done earlier, namely on the World Trade Center bound E-Train, you will see a two-spoke also. So it's more handicap and lean resistant fold that's going on with that. And if you take it to the R211 Yes, if you take it to the R211 you'll find them also instituting gangway No gangway isn't anything new If you look at the European train or even some Asian trains You'll see gangway being utilized to the max. But I guess the MTA knows what speed they want to go at. But this is one Vanderbilt and these guys are steaming. They're going forward. Friday morning and it's cold out here but you got a full crew up there. Moving along at a steady pace. And as we move deeper and deeper into the winter, I don't know how much deeper you can move because it's cold as heck. These guys are the mast. Quite a few lower heater. You guys are gonna pour that today? No, no, not at all. Next week? Yeah, oh. Huh? New Year. Oh, after the new year. Okay. Thanks. I see you. What's that? The blowers? The heaters for 
You guys are gonna have not a lot of fun this winter, huh? That, that's not for us. Don't get it twisted. That's yeah. for the concrete. Oh, that's just for the concrete. Keep the concrete warm, not us. Oh, <laughs> so it doesn't crack. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> so here I am talking about. It. <laughs> so those guys are hardy. They they know. They know how to battle this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so as the concrete is poor, those heaters are gonna be utilized. Those heaters are gonna be utilized to keep a steady, ah, a steady, a steady temperature. Because you don't want it to, to cure too fast or even too slow, you know? If they could get a slow cure, it would be something. But definitely not too fast. Or I should say temperature. You don't want rapid temperature change, fluctuation. You know, you pour the concrete and then boom, it, it, it's being attacked by temperatures that it's been tested at and is Ah, below or above its tolerance. So you have that, those blower heaters. To neutralize the temperature. So just like the MTA is. Testing different seating arrangement. And different safety equipment. You have an industry, which is the construction industry, that has found certain things that work and certain things that, you know, doesn't work. As we have the guys who keep that building level and straight set up their, their equipment, their very, very, no, you need, no, that was equipment you need right there. Watch your videos. <laughs> Thank you. Gotta rock. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, those are the surveyors that um, make sure that this building, because right now this building is in its, the phase that this building is in right now is in its support phase. This part of what they're building here is going to support the rest of the building. So this has to be square, you know? Because when they throw that, that, that blueprint on the computer as it was being developed, the weight and stress factors that went into it demand that certain floors below are plumb and straight. So when you see those guys walking around with those tripod that is an intricate part of this construction one of the surveyors said I we watch your video and uh, that means I gotta make a good video <laughs> I have been making and I can't make that much anyway because they're going up what they're doing is going up past me so I can just glance at it now and even now it's looking beautiful from a, a tool maker's point of view. Hopefully it looks beautiful to you guys. It is cold, man. And you hear the guy say they're not gonna pour any cement until the New Year's. This is Friday. By, yeah, next week. It'll be next year. <laughs>